Here we have a fan motor. It's actually a one stage or uh, yes one stage um, fan motor. It, these kind of motors are you can find them in the uh, standard exhaust fan in your kitchen or in your bathroom. Of course not bathroom because bathroom uses a, a smaller type of fans. In the other hand, um, in kitchen, a standard exhaust kitchen, you can find this type of motor. This is a AC 22 volts. It is a Chinese made and the other day I took it apart because it was not the motor it, it was not spinning in the correct speed and it is become very slow could not uh, even produce the enough movement or the uh, enough uh, torque in order to uh, generate a stream of uh, exhaust air so it's like spinning in a very very low speed so I took the exhaust fan apart and I clean the fans and the fans and everything from the grease re uh, residue and everything it was a, a very very excruciating process because you all know that grease stains they stick to the to the fins and to the blade they're like paint tar paint and it is quite uh, hard to get rid of so I hook I look online and I saw a lot of people they using baking soda uh, dissolve in water and that's what I use and the result were fine now when I reassembled the fan together the the, ma uh, the motor did not also spin in the right speed so I oiled the bearing and as we can see with no effort whatsoever it spins but however still not function in the same momentum like it should as I will demonstrate in a right now now a single phase motor it's uh, it always use a capacitor as a starter so here is the correct speed now it's soon okay but it should run a lot more faster than this so I'm doubting either the motor is bad or the capacitor now I'm going to get my um, capacitor meter and test this capacitor and see if it is bad and if not the motor is bad so here is my DMM I set it to um, capacitor mode and I hook up a couple of uh, alligator extension clips to the leads of it in order so I can measure the capacitors very well now I took the capacitor from the circuit as you can see it is a 1 microfarad a plus and minus uh, 5% uh, 
and just let me turn the flash on a little bit now here we go I turn the flash out flash in and as we can see it is the one microfarad capacitor over 500 volts AC it's a Chinese it's a Chinese capacitor so let's let's connect the le the test the ele test leads of the capacitor tester and see if we are going to get one micro farad or not so here we go oh this is almost more than half of the rated capacitance now this is a one microfarad capacitor and in my stock I don't have one of these I has 3.5 2.2 5 micro and this is a 1.5 it's a 1 micro on a actually it's 1 uh, mega 1 mega 1 meg bicofarad over 400 volts so let's switch the leads to this capacitor before you you measure any capacitor you should always check if and short the leads of the capacitor in order not to have any charge in it or it will be bad for anything bad for you even if you touch them on accidentally or even it will burn your capacitance tester as we can see much nicer value it's closer to one microfarad and this is what a real microfarad should get should give so let me hook this capacitor instead of this capacitor and see the speed of the motor so here we go I clip uh, I use the alligator clips and I clip the the leads of the capacitor instead in position of the old capacitor and I'm going to power the motor in and see if it is going to spin in the right momentum or not wow this is spinning a lot more faster so the capacitor is bad now we are going to install I'm going to install this capacitor in the, the same position like uh, instead of the old capacitor and reassemble the fan so I believe this fan is fixed now so here's the capacitor has been installed now the old capacitor as we saw it had a plastic casing now in this capacitor I don't trust even with the uh, heat shrink I don't trust it very well so what I'm going to do I'm going to install
I'm going to install this uh, winding paper and carve it like a uh, like a uh, cover for this capacitor like a half uh, of uh, match box cover in order to cover the capacitor like a hood this should work yes this should work So I cut it in order in a square shape and I trimmed the uh, the corners and it came like a hood and like a box, like a shoe box and it fit snugly. So I believe it will work just fine very fine actually really nice really nice fitting also so I'm going to assemble this fan and install the fan blade and see how it rotates so it's all back together as uh, we can see I heat shrink all the major joint and also I added some heat shrink to the neutral uh, just for reinforcement of the isolation of it and I'm going to hook, to hook it up and see if it is going to be having the correct speed or not ow and voila it's obviously working and it is working very well brand new Thanks for watching, more to come later.